Hey guys and welcome to another video on my channel. If you want to see how I did this look then please continue watching also. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I'm going to start off by using Dream Satin Liquid in 10 Ivory. I'm going to use this brush and just pat it all over my face. There was quite a lot on the brush so I just spread it out all over my face. And then I'm just going to blend it all over making sure I get the hairline and my neck. To achieve really flawless coverage, you want to get a damp sponge and then use the sponge to pat the foundation all over your face. Your face will look so flawless at the end of it. After putting the foundation all over your face, we're going to go in with L'Oreal's Lumi Magique in one light and I'll be using this as a highlighter. To blend this out I used a flat angled brush and I'll just be patting it in and then just blending it out so that there's no harsh lines mixing with the foundation and the highlighter. Using Maybelline's Matte Maker Powder, I'll be using Real Techniques Multi-Purpose Dual Fiber Face Brush and I'll be placing this all over my face making sure I get rid of all of that oil because and preventing it because I do have an oily face so to be able to achieve a matte face you're going to have to put some matte powder on. <laughs> Using L'Oreal's bronzer called Glam Bronze, I'll be using 06 Golden Bronze and I'll be using this to contour. I'll also be using Real Techniques Cheek Brush which is from NYX PIX. Using Sleek's Brow Pencil in 718 Dark, I'll just be filling in my eyebrows because I know I have some sparse areas on my arch so I need to fill them in just to give them a bit more shape. Using Avon's eyeshadow primer, I'll be putting this all over my lids so that when I do put the eyeshadow on, it does stay in place and also it doesn't crease on my lids. After blending it in well, we're going to go in by using the Jazuli palette I got off Amazon and I'll be using one of these purple colours and I decided to go with a uh, a light purple first and I'll be using Real Techniques base shadow brush. I took a light purple and I'll just be patting this all over my lid and I'll just be creating a shape that suits my 
eyes because if I do it in some sort of way it doesn't really suit my eyes so I found that this way and the way I do it now suits my eyes than other shapes. Now taking Real Techniques angled brush, I'll be taking a darker purple and I'll be putting this on the corners of my eyes. So right at the ends here, I'll be placing it to make a V shape. I wanted to create a kind of gradient so that the outer corner of my eyes was darker than the inner corner and the middle of my eyes. I think by creating a gradient it makes your eyes pop out more than just having one bold colour and I chose light because I didn't want to do dark then light on the outer corner because you wouldn't see it properly so I went with light and then dark. Using the Dulux Crease Brush by Real Techniques, I'll be using this to blend out the harsh lines that I have on my eyes, just to make them a little bit softer. Now taking this small eyeshadow brush which I got from Bundle Monster, I'll be taking the dark purple and I'll be putting this on my lower lash line just to give my eyes a bit more emphasis on the purple. Now taking the base shadow brush from the purple collection of Real Techniques, I'll be taking the white and I'll be putting this on my brow bone just to highlight my brows, just to make them stand out a little bit more. By doing this I feel like it gives your face a bit more of a 3D look, not just the flat eyeshadow colour, I think it just makes it pop out a little bit more. I'll be putting it on the inner corners of my eyes also just to lighten up the inner and the middle parts of my eyes just so that you can really see the difference between dark and light. And now I'll be using the bronzer again since I forgot to contour my forehead and my jawline so I'll be doing this now just to hide away that forehead and um, I'll just be making all the areas smaller by contouring. By contouring the jawline, you're giving yourself a smaller face, so I like to contour my jawline. Using Rimmel's Soft Coal Eyeliner Pencil in 071 Pure White, I'll just be lining my waterline because I just want my eyes to look much more brighter and wider as well so I'll just be putting this on the waterline just to give it a little bit of hint of white on the waterline and I'll be using my favourite liner which is L'Oreal Super Liner Ultra Precision and I'll be creating a cat liner flick. I honestly struggle trying to get both of them perfect but in the end after loads of practice you'll eventually get it right and you'll know how to do it so just make sure you practice a lot because I'm still practicing.
And now using eyelash curlers, I'm just going to be curling my lashes slightly because I'll be putting fake lashes on. And now using Max Factors Clump Defy Mascara, I'll just be putting a little layer of mascara on just so that the false lashes stick properly and well to the fake lashes. I'll be using my favourite lashes which are the Ardell's 117s and they are just beautiful and they look so natural and I'll be using these today. The way I like to place my lashes on are by putting the fake lashes in the middle and then connecting the inner corner and then the outer corner to my real lashes and that's how I do it. And then I'll be taking the mascara again and just putting a little layer on, the, on my real lashes and on the fake ones. And then I'll just be putting a little layer on my bottom lashes just to open up my eyes a little more. And now taking blusher which is by H&M in Autumn Flower. I love this. I went H&M and I spotted this and I was like yes I have to have that. And I'll be using Primark's blush brush and... I will be dusting this on my face and I'll be putting it just above the contour line on my cheeks but on top of it as well so that it kind of blends in together. And now taking one of my favourite brands which is Makeup Revolution and I'll be using Rebel With Cause and I'll just be applying this as normal. Taking Rimmel's lipstick in 26, this is a nude colour and I'll be putting this in the middle of my lips and this kind of gives it like, gives my lips a more poutier look and also it makes it a bit more 3D-ish so it makes my lips look a little bit bigger and I'll just be using this as like an ombre and I'll be using Makeup Academy's Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in Iridescent Gold and I'll be using a blush brush for this, I liked a bigger brush and I'll just be putting this at the top of my cheeks, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, on my chin, and a little bit on my forehead. I literally love this highlighter so much. Oh my god, it's so gorgeous. Shout out to MUA, because this stuff is great. Swag. And here is the final look. See you guys in my next video and thanks for watching. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I did this look. <coughs> <coughs>